Jo from Minerva. Today we're going to do a fabric focus uh, looking at some gauze fabrics. Gauze is a really light open weave fabric that comes in a double layer so that you get a, a coziness and it's not transparent and it also sometimes takes prints and sometimes it's a plain colour but it often is a sort of muted summer fabric. Some tips for working with gauze is, um, my top one, is to pre-wash the fabric. So if I show you this fabric, which is the fabric that I'm wearing, this is how it came from the packet. So it's flat, it's got a metallic finish. And then when I washed it, you do get a slightly crinklier texture. So it's a little bit bubbly, a little bit bobbly. And that's the sort of finish you get with gauze. You get a sort of crushed linen look. You get that sort of summer casual look. Double gauze is made of two layers of fabric. So this is what you get to sew with. But it's actually made up of two layers. So there's one layer which is like a back lining. And then there's the pattern layer that's on the top. And it's held together with tiny, tiny invisible stitches. I wonder if you can see them there. Tiny invisible stitches and they hold the two layers together so you haven't got to worry about that but that's what gives it its crinkly texture when you wash it because there's two layers working against each other. But what it does give the fabric, those two layers, is um, a sort of coziness that's soft against the skin but that's what makes it really good for summer wear because it's very cool when you wear it because it's um, got those two layers of soft woven fabric. Another tip for working with gauze is to, when you've pre-washed your fabric and it comes back in, out of the machine and you've dried it and it's all crinkly, is to keep that crinkle in it when you cut out. If you iron it all flat and then put your uh, pattern on top, cut round, and then when you make your garment and wash it, all those crinkles will go back in, you will reduce each pattern piece by its crinkle amount again so you might have a sizing issue so it's important to love the fact that it's going to have a crinkly finish as your outcome and to keep that as you're cutting and sewing because if you iron it flat then cut it out and make it it will shrink back down to that texture again when you wash it for the second time and times after that with a fabric focus video i like to show you the simplest patterns and fabrics to work with first and then work up to more intermediate patterns and fabrics that might require a little bit more skill to use. So my first fabric to show you is a double gauze. That's a lovely teal colour and you can see it's a summer weight fabric. You'll see the um, silhouette of me behind it. So this fabric is really good if, it, if you choose a pattern that's got a gather in it because if, you, if you're giving the fabric a gather, you're giving it a chance to be more opaque. You can use this fabric for children's or adult clothes. This one really does have that uh, statement texture in it. It's a sort of mid-range one. It's 16 colours in this, so you've got lots and lots of choice. And it's 53 inches wide, so that's a good width, good value for money. And the pattern I've chosen is a children's one to start off, which is the Poppy and Jazz Juniper Skirt. It's got an elasticated waist with a little tear. And it comes um, in age 12, 18 months to 6 years. So you've got many a summer skirt to knock out from that. And also, um, this pattern is quite versatile because then you can make cord ones in the winter or the autumn. So you'll get a lot of skirts for a lot of years out of this pattern. But a summer one, it's all light and breezy, would be perfect in this gauze teal. Triple gauze is 42 inches wide, so that's quite narrow. So make sure that you check your fabric requirements on the back of the pattern. It comes in seven pastel colours and it is by Robert Kaufman. This one is called Thistle. It's a triple gauze and it is what you'd expect. It's three layers of fabric. 
there is a little sandwich, two outers and an inner. And if you've got a triple gauze, then you get more opaque fabric, which makes it really suitable for trousers, shorts, skirts for summer because it's not see-through. And for that reason, I have chosen um, this pattern from New Look. This is New Look 6289. And if you're a beginner, these floppy trousers are super easy and the shorts. They've got an elasticated waist and a sort of wide flowing bottom, which you'll get uh, nicely with this fabric. The shorts have got a tie waist. You can use the tie waist on the top. If you're moving on a little bit, and you've made sort of that elasticated pyjama style before, then you might want to try Simplicity 1887 because that one has more details on. So this one has pockets, you could have straight legs, you can have elasticated bottoms around the bottom of the trousers. There are, there are pockets with pocket bags on the side. So these two patterns will both give you that floppy summer trouser um, feel this one's a little bit easier than this one but they're both perfectly suited to this triple gauze because triple gauze will be opaque third pattern is to show you that gauze sometimes has prints and effects on it so look at this one this is a crinkle effect gauze with a little sprinkle foils on it. This is a cream colourway, it's not white. It does come in 11 different colours, but the white one showed up on the screen, the foils, the best that I could show you. And I think this is um, great for holiday wear, holiday evening wear, summer evening wear. A, a maxi dress in that would be absolutely beautiful. I've chosen a children's pattern because I think they'd find the little spots fun. And this is Butterick 6202. It comes in two size ranges, so it goes from age two to five. And then the next size up is six, seven and eight. But you can make a child's maxi dress, a little play suit that's got shorts, and these are dresses. And although it looks like quite a simple dress, if you look at the details on the back, it's got a bow and sh the shoulder straps go over into a V at the back. Really pretty summer dress pattern and would be superb in a gauze with a foil effect. This one is 51 centimetres wide, so you'll get... Um, a child's dress out of this quite easily with quite a small meterage of fabric and it comes in 11 colours. My fourth fabric choice has again got a foil metallic spot on it but this one's a little bit more subtle just tiny little dots not such big splatters as on the last one it's got the crinkle finish it's in a beautiful shade of ochre. I know sometimes it's hard to buy yellow online because you really, I can't be sure how bright the yellow is. I would say, looking at this, it's it's not a bright yellow. It's definitely a very soft ochre colour. Ideal for uh, summer wear. It's much more fluid, this, this fabric. It's really, really uh, got a sort of grace that would hang really well. It comes in 19 different colours and some of those colours are pastel, some of those colours are dark. This one's a bit wider so this one um, is a little bit more expensive than the last one but you get a good value for money on it because it is 59 inches wide which is good if you're making something with a tear on, an adult tear on and you need quite a wide width to get um, to cut a tear of a skirt out of that you're going to hem. So it's perfect if you need a nice wide fabric choice on the fold. And it makes lovely adult clothes. There's a really lovely example here.
I've chosen my final children's pattern for this fabric, which is Butterick B4176. Again, this one comes in two size brackets. So this one is age two, three, four, five, and the next size up is six, seven, and eight. So make sure you choose the right one. It's marketed as very easy, but I think that's a really nice summer wardrobe for making any of these items in gauze, little gauze, really lightweight shorts, tops, little trousers, a dress with sleeves, a dress without sleeves. There's that full ward, I can't quite show it. There's that full wardrobe along the bottom there. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. There's 12 items that you can cut from that one pattern. I think if it was me, I'd make that little shorts and top set because you could wear them um, separate or together. I'm going to move on to some fabrics with some adult patterns now. So this is the fabric I am wearing. It is a Rico double gauze. This one's blue and silver. It comes in three colourways, a sort of rose pink, a mustard and this very, very pale blue. It's 55 inches wide, so you get um, a good amount of fabric, even though it's in the higher price bracket. It's worth noting that the stripes are on the diagonal, so they're going um, diagonally. So that might make you think about which pattern you choose to make with it. I'm wearing it now. It's cold in the office, so I've got a long sleeve t-shirt underneath. But this is the Charlie Kaftan. You can see how much gather you can get in this well in any of the gauze fabrics that i've shown you today but it doesn't it doesn't gather and then stick out it gathers and lies really really flat which is really great for tiered dresses or uh, elasticated cuffs or any anything that's got a gathered detail the pattern that i'm wearing is the charlie kaftan um, i made the short version with the gathered waist there's a long version, uh, there's a version without a waist tie, but I'm, I would highly recommend the waist tie. It really does give it a nice shape. This one has got pleats here. And I really avoided that view in this fabric because of the pattern on the diagonals, because I would have my, my um, gauze diagonals running like this way. And then where I put the fold in, I would get a sort of offset here of the diagonal so that's why I went for the gathers rather than the fold so make sure you consider the diagonal pattern uh, there's a, uh, an indigo by Tilly and the Buttons online as well showing this fabric in the mustard colourway The next fabric is um, very fine. It's got much less of the crinkle texture, much smoother. Um, it's by Atelier Brunette. This is in the higher price bracket, but it is 55 inches wide. And if gold spots aren't your thing, which is very often what's used um, as a metallic feature on fabrics, this one's got a silver spot and you don't see that quite so much. So this has got a silver embroidered spot so it's not just a printed one that one's embroidered through the fabric it comes in eight different colors it's very very smooth and um, much smoother than the other ones that i've shown you which are a bit more sort of bouncy this one has got a very smooth finish perfect for tops and shirts i think a bit less suited to a bottom half uh, item of clothing but this one would make a beautiful top or shirt or a vest top or a camisole. It comes in eight different colours. This one's quite a strong colour, but I wanted to show you that not all gauzes are in the pastel range because quite often they come in pastels, but this is a really nice wine colour called Amaranti. It's 100% cotton. And the pattern that I've chosen is a top. And I've chosen a style arc pattern. And if you've seen them on the Minerva website, but not seen them to look at, they come like this. So they don't come in an envelope. They come as a big 
pattern sheet so it's just one big pattern sheet there is a bit of a health warning with them that's the instructions the instructions are a little bit maverick they're a little bit different they're really really concise so it will say join one seam to another seam join another seam finish it face it so you'll need to know a few skills and a little bit of sewing vocabulary there there's a picture there showing you which bit which seam joins to which seam and just a couple of pictures to show a few techniques but they have beautiful design line style art patterns you have to just use your imagination a little bit more and think about what your fabric's going to look like against this style art pattern that essentially is a drawing uh, a maker has posted a really nice example of this There are other effects created on gauze, which is um, this one, which is an embroidered anglais style fabric. So it's got the little holes and the squiggly lines of embroidery, machine embroidery. This one's got a crinkle finish to it. It's a, it's a bit looser, this one. It's got a little bit more give in it. It feels a little bit more spongy and stretchy than the other ones. But with, with that comes a little bit more fluidity. So this one is absolutely perfect for gathering because you'll get a really, really neat gather. This is a lovely colour. This is called Rust. It's an embroidered double gauze. It comes in 12 different colours. It's 51 inches wide. Um, I've made um, a Nina Lee Carnaby dress out of this, which I like to wear in the summer. But another style that's useful for the summer is something that's quite floaty. So that's what gauze suits really. A lot of the patterns that I've shown you today are not structured. A lot of them have got a gathering. So this is another style art pattern. This one's called the Montana Midi Dress. You see a lot of these on Minerva Makes because um, they're a really easy make. Again, you've got that same style instruction on the style art pattern. A list of instructions how the pieces fit together and a couple of finishing techniques or the main points but that style is absolutely perfect in gauze because you'll get that really really neat gather around the waistline I've got three of these patterns they're all the same so just be careful that you choose the right size um, you can get it in a 10 to 22, uh, you can get it in an 18 to 16, so a larger range, or you can get it in a smaller set, which is size 4 to 16. So make sure you choose the right pattern when you select it. And this is the fabric that I've chosen to make the Montana dress and embroidered double gauze. Continuing with the summer theme, um, and I guess that runs throughout today's uh, pattern choices because it, they're all 100% cotton, so they're all great fabrics for wearing in the summer. I've chosen um, a plain one. So we're back to a plain gauze. This one is a light pink gauze, and this one's described as medium, but it's sort of got the same feel as the other ones. But even though it's that light pink, it's still... Uh, a good weight it's not got it's not transparent and this one comes in 25 colors and that's why I wanted to show it you because maybe some of the other ones that I've shown today aren't your thing if you've got 25 colors to choose from you should be able to find the color that's yours uh, it's 51 inches wide this is the lowest end of the budget so I think that's important to say there's lots of choice at a different price bracket and I've chosen a pattern that's a little bit different but it might be for some of you guys which is a vintage uh, remake pattern which is simplicity 1426 
and it's to make this sun top. There's a couple of different sun tops on there. Sun tops that can be made in a poplin or a cotton, but actually a really light one can be made um, in gauze. Particularly this one, that's just a tube ruched up because you'll get that nice gather on there, but you'll also get this nice ruching here and a very soft feel against your skin. So I've picked this uh, 1950s vintage sun top. Click on this in the product list below and you'll see some other people that have made it very, very successfully. There's something pretty timeless about um, white gauze for summer wear you can make any of the tops that I've shown today with this one and um, this is called double gauze this one comes in 37 different colors it's described as a bit um, as heavy but I would say it sort of feels the same as the others but this would make um, any of the patterns that I've shown you today the children's ones the Montana dress um, the uh, Courtney top would make any of those it's a really good quality gauze. It's very, very soft, this one. Sort of, um, oh, it's like a sort of baby. It feels like a baby's muslin cloth. Um, really, really soft. And the pattern that I've chosen to make this is the Ogden Cami. This is a very popular pattern. It's a very popular pattern for using up a very small amount of fabric. So. Um, if you want to try out gauze, but you're not sure if you like it or not yet, then you could um, try and make the Ogden Cami and see what it feels like against your skin. But that is why I've picked this, because this is just lovely. It's really, really soft. This pattern goes from size 0 to 18. That is a 32-inch bust up to a 44.5. So not doesn't go up to the widest price uh, bracket but then you could try the Courtney top which goes up to um, a wider size bracket the final fabric I'd like to show you has a print on so we've had foiling we've had little dots we've had a des anglais and um, we've had a metallic finish um, like on here and this one has a print finish an abstract one. This colourway is called Rose. It's a double gauze. It's 55 inches wide and this one is by Atelier Brunette. It doesn't have the crinkle weave the same as the other ones. This one's much smoother. This one is more of a summer shirt fabric. It's got that sort of stability that um, would hold a shirt's uh, pattern pieces and features and you can see it creases like gauze does but not it's not got that overall crinkle effect so I think you can wear a shirt with this without looking like a complete tea towel so um, this one is matched with the Meliot shirt it's by Deer and Doe it's quite a classic shirt pattern, but the short sleeve one would be very nice with a little granddad collar. Or you could go for a long sleeve one, but just be aware if you make any shirt with long sleeves in gauze, you'll get quite a bit of creasing um, here in the arm. Whereas if you make a short one, you'll, you'll get more of a sort of summer um, shirt feel. This one would be perfect. This is by Italia Brunette. It's in the higher price bracket, but I think if you make a classic shirt, it will have a lot of longevity. I hope today's video has inspired you to try using some gauze, double gauze, triple gauze, um, a pattern or a plain and to see what you can create for your summer wardrobe using a really light, cosy fabric that will keep you cool. All the products that I've shown are listed below, 
So if you want to investigate further, click on any of those, go to that page and you can see what other people have made with them. You can see um, the sizing of the patterns and how the fit is on different size people. And you will also get some really useful comments from our Minerva makers on the experiences they had sewing with particular fabrics and patterns. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.